Hey guys, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy tip for how to call out important posts, promotions, or anything you want to from your WordPress site using a plugin called FooBar. Now, I did a post about a week ago called 5 Easy Ways to Squeeze Extra Earnings Out of Your WordPress Site and I'll put the link in the description in case you want to read it. And one of my first tips was to use a notification bar like I'm using here on my blog. And this is the FooBar in action. So a lot of people commented and said they had never heard of FooBar before. So I thought I'd do a video explaining how it works. Now, I should say that the FooBar costs $14. It's a one-time flat fee. But there is a free version. It's called Hello Bar. Now, it is free, but it's only free for up to 25 clicks per month. So if you go beyond 25 clicks, then you'll have to pay the $5 a month or whatever they charge. So I opted to go with FUBAR because I like the one-time fee and it's unlimited clicks and I don't have to worry about having a click maximum or anything like that. So let's talk about FUBAR and how it works. So when you install the plugin, you're going to get two options in your WordPress admin panel. There's going to be a menu option up here called FUBARs and then there's one in your settings as well. So to create a foobar, all you do is go up to foobars, add new, give it a name, you can call it, you know, whatever you want, um, holiday special, whatever the name of the promotion is. You can change the colors. Notice you can insert a hex color or use the little color wheel here. You can force it to be transparent. You can change the width of the border and the color. You can show the shadow or hide it. You can even change the height of the bar. And there are a ton of different options. You can put it at the top, you can put it at the bottom, you can do it in line with your content. You can even change the theme of the close button. So it is so, 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 so customizable. The styling options, as I said on my blog post, at first they were kind of overwhelming because it's like, oh my goodness, there's so many things I can change. So this is the styling here for the actual message itself. So the text that you see. So as you can see, I'm using white text and the links are yellow, which is the default anyway. So I didn't really change much here. So to add a new message, you just come down here to add new message. And this is where you enter your foobar message. And you can put HTML here if you want. So you can link to other pages. You can even add your Twitter, your Facebook, and other social profiles to the foobar if you want. And so when you're done, you come over here to create. And so you're done. Now, to make sure the foobar is active, you go to settings, foobar settings, and you have to make sure that you have something set here for the default foobar. If you don't, nothing's going to show. Right now, I only have one, so that's all that's showing. But you still have to select something, even if you only have one, because the default is here. And if you have it like this, it won't show. So let's say you want to show a different foobar on another page. Very easy. You just go back to your foobars, say add new, create your foobar. Now you open the specific page or post that you want the foobar to display on. So you scroll down. There's a foobar options bar right here on the edit post or page mode and this is where you choose which foobar you want to show on a specific page so if you want to target your foobars let's say you have a post about WordPress and you have a link to your WordPress ebook you can create a foobar or an advertisement for that page so the foobar is relevant to you know whatever the page says so there are so many different ways to use this foobar. As I said, you can use it to promote any discounts. You know, this time of year is the holidays. A lot of companies, especially if you're in retail, they have sales going on. This is a great time to throw in some affiliate links for related products. You can even sell advertising. Even though this plugin doesn't have an ad management module, you can still, you know, manually set it up. I, mean, I know there are a lot of people that would love to have an ad on somebody's blog that's highlighted like that. So there's so many different things you can do with the foobar. And in my opinion, for $14, it was totally worth it. So that's it, guys. Hope you can find some use for it. And I will see you later. Bye.